What up, players? It's Warboss Tail up in this mode. Here's a Astro Claws update for you. As you can see, I just about finished my tactical squad for the assault on Black Reach. So here's my flamer guy in the front, next to my missile launcher guy. And let's take a look at some of their details. Um, not really much to say. Painted the the casing of the the missiles with dwarf bronze. Everything else with shining gold, all the gold details with shining gold and burnished gold. Um, there, I painted the details on the grenade. I decided to, I, I freehanded all of the shoulder pads and they just weren't consistent enough for my liking, so I decided to go over them with blue and I've got the transfer sheets coming in from Forge World, so I'm just gonna wait for those to come in. <laughs> um, yeah. What I thought was interesting though was that the star with the skull on it on his leg looks a lot like the the star of the Astro Claw, the Astro Claw symbol that has the star on it. Let me see if I can find it in my computer. And I'm actually looking at warhammer40k.wiki.com slash Astro Claws. So it looks a lot like that, right? Sorry, let me give that a good focus. On this guy's little leg pad. So, so, so for those of you who want an Astro Claws, start an Astro Claws army using the Assault on Black Reach guys as a basis. They're really the only tactical marines that have a lot of these embossed designs sculpted on them. I like this tactical marking. If you really like tactical marines, um, most people uh, don't use tactical marines as much nowadays. Um, like Space Wolves, I, I, I read, use a lot of scouts, and uh, uh, most other armies prefer the assault troops, jump troops with jump packs, especially Blood Angels players who, uh, you know, want to use the assault on Black Reach box, but if you do use Tactical Marines, then you don't have to paint, you don't have to um, use decals for the shoulder pads, because the assault on Black Reach Marines have the tactical marking on it, which is that arrow pointing up. Which you would think should be the assault troopers, assault troops symbol. Like an arrow moving from one place to another. The assault troopers have an X, which, um, I don't know, I think an X could be used to represent a tactical marine squad. Like they're covering all angles, multi-purpose, right? Covering all angles? I don't know. Maybe not. For the straps of the bolters, I decided to go with Kemri Brown washed with Bada Black. So real simple paint scheme. This was really just to get them done you know, just about as quickly as possible. Um, and so if you're looking to paint a quick force up in the Astro Claws color scheme. Stay tuned because my War Boss tutorial for that is coming up pretty soon. I'm also um, looking at doing a couple of other things, a couple other things in the works. And let's see, the last guy is Sergeant Gappy, which you've seen before. His big gap tooth smile. In the grim darkness of the far future. There is only free medical and no dental. With the Doom Wheel set, you get nine of these giant rats. Um, I decided to put eight of them on the bases though because one of them was too small. Ooh, this guy's backwards. So, uh, here's a little look at their detail. These guys are great because they're all individually different. Here's one with spikes. Here's like a regular looking giant rat, as regular as they can look. There's a really gross one here, this one with the two tails and tentacle looking things coming out of its body. Here's one all wrapped up like a little mummy rat. And there's just a quick look at the other ones. So really cool. If you have two of these doom wheels that you run in your army then you'll have enough to make like a little unit of 16 16 giant rats all you need is the rat handlers but there's your little mix of fantasy Warhammer fantasy along with the astro claws but yeah here they are 
thanks for watching. I'm gonna get, um, like I said, I'm gonna get the decals soon, and also some sculpted shoulder pads. Uh, thanks to Mateo for um, forwarding me that the, um, some suggestions for getting them from Cyborg Miniatures. Their sculpted shoulder pads with the lions on them look superb, and I ordered some, and they're gonna look awesome on maybe some Vanguard or Stern Guard veterans. Yeah, really stoked with that. And um, finally, before I go today, I have to send a shout out to my good buddy Tabletop Painting 101. Check out his channel. Um, he helped me out. He's helped me out like a lot over the last couple of nights, giving me a whole lot of great resources and um, tips, and uh, shown me his own painting station and uh, just really really fantastic amazing so tabletop painting 101 check him out definitely give him some subs if uh if you haven't checked him out yet subscribe check out his um his painting really experienced painter he could help you out with a whole lot of tips and stuff and um yeah that's about it for this video so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one